Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, and in this video we're going to solve this really interesting exponential equation x squared equal to 2 to the x. And most of students said, okay, this is very easy question, very obvious solution right here, but I answered them, okay, this is not an easy uh, question as you can see like that, because it is like more complicated question and we need to know about really interesting tricks, approaches and really, really interesting formulas, and in this video I'm going to show you this this solution. But before solving this, I want to start with this uh, graph right here, because this is a very obvious graph. We have x squared, this is our parabola right here, something like that, and the second we have our, our exponent function, yeah, something like that, like that, and it goes right here, maybe they, it, it intersect with this, with this function, we don't know about it, but as you can see, we have right here, this is obvious solution right here, a lot of students see, a lot of students know that this is equal to 2, but what about this solution, maybe right here we will have our, our x, x third, maybe right here we will have a point of intersection, x, x second, so as you can see, a lot of combination, and maybe we'll have like one, one root, two, because this is very obvious, two square equal to two square, but maybe we'll have more roots, so we will have like right here root, point of intersection, and right here point of point of intersection. So let's try to figure out about this, about this question. First of all, we need to know about natural log. This is very obvious, obvious to know about this because we need to take natural log on both sides because we have these powers, these variables, and we need to this to go down right here. So we have natural log to to the x, and we need to know from school that our two goes goes down right here and our x goes down right here because this is main log log property. So let's do this. So we have like two times natural log x equal to x times natural log 2. But one really interesting moment, oh, most of students forget about it, right here we have x square, so x can be positive, can be negative, so we need to put absolute value right here, which is really important, and it's it not get you to, to make a mistake, so right here we need to put absolute value. Right now, take a look, we have constant, we have variable, we have variable, we have constant, so let's try to group our constant on the left hand side and our variables on the, on the right hand side. For this, let's try to divide both sides by x, if we divide both sides by x, right here we cancel this from the right hand side and it appears in our denominator, so we have like 2 times natural log absolute value of x over x equal to natural log 2. So right now we still have this constant, we don't need it, so let's divide both sides by this 2 once more, and as a result we have our expression, we have natural log absolute value of x over x equal to natural log 2 over over 2. Yeah, so here is our expression after this simplifying step. We need this expression. This is a very important expression. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's try to learn or remember about Lambert W function, okay? Because we need it very good, very nice, because it's very important to know about this, this function. I will try to explain you in simple words. For example, imagine you have expression like that, x times e to the power x. For example, imagine you have something like that, where x is wherever you want expression, but we need to have e. And if we have Lambert W function, if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, we will have equal to, we have like equal to only our x, which is really important because we can easily simplify a lot with this Lambert W function. So I hope you understand this Lambert W function in this simply word. And let's try to apply this Lambert W function right here, but before we need to create something like that. And how can we do this? Before solving this, we just need to put attention to this expression, because we have absolute value, so it looks like we have two cases. First case where x is positive, so first case where x is positive 1, x is positive 1, and the second case where x is negative 1. So let's try to start with positive 1. If x is positive 1, we have the next expression. We have natural log x, so a very obvious, over x, equal to natural log 2 over 2. Yeah, so very obvious expression because we just cancel our, our absolute value, x is positive. Okay, right now let's try to create something like that, something like that, according to Lambert W function. So for this, let's try to write this x, instead of this x, let's write uh, e to the power natural log x. Yeah, let's do this. So we have like natural log x over e to the power natural log x, equal to natural log 2 over over 2. Yeah, so we write something like that. 
And right now, let's try to bring this expression from our denominator to our numerator, yeah? So we will have like the next. We will have like nature log x, we have it, and times e to the power nature log x. Times e to the power nature log x, yeah? Nature log x, but one really important moment. Right here we bring it from our denominator to numerator, so we need to put minus right here. Minus equal to nature log 2 over over 2, okay? I hope you understand this step. We just try to create something like that, something like lambda w function, okay? Okay, and right now, let's go to the next step. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. Let's try to create this expression, something like that. So for this, we need to multiply it by minus one because we have right here minus nature log x, and right here we have nature log x, but in a lambda w function, we need to have like the same x and the same x. So if you multiply it by minus one, we have like minus nature log x, times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus nature log 2 over over 2. Yeah, so something like something like that. And right now, if you look closely to this, we can easily apply lambda w function because minus nature log x minus nature log x right here. So the same x, the same x, we have e. So we can easily apply lambda w function. So let's do this. So lambda w function from this minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to lambda w function of this expression minus nature log 2 over over 2. And in the same way, let's try to, to rewrite this in another way, because this is equal to, take a look closely, very interesting moment right here, lambda w function of, take a look, minus 1 half right here we have, and this 1 half we can bring as a power of this 2. So we can write it as minus nature log square root of 2. Okay? This is very great, very great moment right now. And take a look closely, right here, lambda w function, so if, if we apply it, we have like minus nature log x, so all cancel, we have only our x, as I wrote right here. And equal to lambda w function, lambda w function of minus nature log square root of 2, okay? Okay, and right here, we can easily close the brackets right here, and let's go to the next step. Let's go to the next step. Let's multiply it by minus 1, because we have right here minus, this is a constant, so if you multiply by minus 1, we have like nature log x equal to minus lambda w function in minus nature log square root of 2. So as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to our x. And right now, let's take e on both sides. So our x equal to, from here we cancel this nature log, and we have like e to the power minus lambda w function of minus nature log square root of 2. Okay, this is this is our x. And here is a question, what is uh, the roots right here? I, I find it for you because I find it in, in internet libraries. So as you can see right here, we can easily uh, see that hides right here hides our first root x square x first equal to 2. And if you plug it into like scientific graphing calculator, so x second equal to equal to 4. Yeah, so when x is positive right here, x is positive, we will have like two roots two roots right here, okay? Which is which is really great. And if we have the second case, x is negative 1, we will have the next x equal to minus e to the power minus lambda w function of nature log square root of 2. Yeah, so I write this root for you. So this is our x, x third. So we have three roots. Right now I'm going to to write this uh, this root for you, and of course maybe someone need this approximation equal to so x third equal to approximately equal to minus zero point seven six and six. And right now let's draw a graph real quick. So we have our x x square right here. Our x square. I write it something like that. And we have like our exponential function right here exponential function it goes for example right here and as you can see three point of intersection so the first point of intersection right here as we find before so x first equal to minus 0 0.766 this is our x first right here we have x second equal to 2 and right here we have third point of intersection so x third equal to four so three three solutions as you can see three point of intersection so our answer our answer x first equal to minus 0 0.766 x second equal to 2 and x third equal to 4 3 solutions to this 
to these questions. So we hope you understand this explanation, but if it's hard to you, please leave any comment, I try to help everyone if you still have any question. And thank you for your time, have a great day, I hope you're doing great, and thank you for your support, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.